Kindergarten, now that you have finished putting down your rectangles and squares on top of your colored sheet of paper, and you made sure that there was a gap in between each piece, we're going to use that same strategy of uh, keeping our shapes separated when we move on to the second sheet that you painted. This time on the back, there are circles, triangles, diamonds, squares, lots of different shapes for you to use on top of this paper. You're going to be cutting these out. Um, you're definitely going to want to probably do some bubble cutting for this and you definitely do not need to cut out every single one of these shapes. So what I would start doing is this. What shapes do you like best? I would start with those also, I would think about what colors I want to be using to put these shapes on top of my rectangles and squares. This rectangle has yellow, orange, and red. So I might want to stay away from any of the shapes that are in my yellow, orange, and red, and I might want to use shapes out of my blue purple and green. So I'm going to stay in my blue, purple, and green. And you're going to notice that all the shapes that are over here are also over here. So I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go ahead and start with uh, my circle in the corner. So I'll grab my scissors. I know that I want to try starting with a big one, so I'm just going to do a fast bubble cut. That way I don't have to um, hold this big piece of paper. I can move this off to the side, and now this piece of paper is much easier uh, to cut if I um, cut it off. So now I can do my line cut going slow and concentrating. Remember, paper scraps can go in the recycling bin. So now that I have my circle, I need to decide where I want to place it. Now, this is a big circle, so I don't want to place it on a small rectangle or a skinny rectangle. We don't want these shapes um, to be bigger than the shape that we have. And we definitely don't want to put it on a color uh, that we've already used. So I wouldn't want to put a, a purple and blue on top of a purple and blue. Uh, if people were walking by, it would be very hard for them to see uh, the difference in colors. So I cut this guy out. It's a big circle. This is a big rectangle and uh, it fits nicely so I'm just going to need to decide if I want it on the left, in the middle, or on the right. We don't want these shapes going outside of what shape you are putting it on. So if I want it on this rectangle, it needs to be inside the rectangle. And again, you can check with your pinky to make sure that we can still see the beautiful colors that you have on your rectangle. I really like my blue and purple being closest to my yellow, so that's where I'm going to put that circle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue and my brush. I'm going to go around the outside edge. And an X in the middle. I'm going to leave my brush on the cardboard. Before I push and hold, I'm going to make sure that I really like where I have my circle because right now it's really easy to move. This is where I want it, so I will push and hold. And I will rub around the edges and in the middle.
So for the rest of your class today, what you will be doing is cutting out more shapes from here and placing them on your rectangles and squares. You have to have at least one geometric shape inside of your rectangle or square. Now this is a big shape, so I can get probably two or three. This is a long square, so I can get one, two, three, maybe four if I use the smaller shapes. Please don't cut all of these out. If you cut all these out, you're going to run out of time uh, to glue them down. So again, I want to do another shape here. I need to decide if I want to do another circle and if I want it to be big or small. Do I want to do a different shape and do a big triangle or a small triangle? Do I want to do a big diamond or a small diamond? This is where you can make your project very individual. It will look like your picture and nobody else's because nobody else is going to be making the choices that you are making with shapes and color. Just remember, you might want to stay away from reds and oranges for your next shape. So I'm going to stay over here. I'm going to choose um, a different shape and a different size. So I have a big circle. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to do I'm going to do a small diamond. So that's the shape I'm going to cut out. So I'll go ahead and bubble cut. That way I can put this big piece of paper off to the side. I can now do my line cutting. And this is the, the, the best part about collaging. When you go to put this down, you're going to notice that there is a lot of room still left over here. So even if I glue this down and I thought that I just wanted one, I might change my mind and say, you know what, I have so much room here, I'm going to add probably another small one and have three geometric shapes inside of here. So I'm going to glue this guy down first. Remember, little shapes need a little bit of glue. I'm making sure that my shape is not outside of my rectangle and it's not on top of another shape. So I'm going to put him here. I'm going to push and hold. And I'm gonna rub around the edges. So now it's up to you. Do you want to try and get a big one, a little one? If you cut out the wrong shape or you don't like it, it's okay. You can go ahead and leave it off to the side and, and cut another shape. That's the best part about doing collages is that if you make a mistake or if you cut something that you don't like, you don't have to use it. So make sure that you put it on the paper before you glue it, look at it, think about it, and then when you're ready to make a decision, then you can go ahead and glue it down. So I'm going to finish this and I'm going to do it to all of my other rectangles on the paper.
Okay, kindergarten, whether you uh, are completely done or you still have more to go, when class is over, uh, it is over. So um, if you still have more that you would like to do, you can go ahead and work on it next class. But you definitely need to make sure that you are grabbing any of the pieces that you are going to need for next class and you are putting them on top of your project like a tray. If you are completely done and there's still time left in class, go ahead and put this on the drying rack. If you have extra scraps like this, please don't throw this away. This is still really good. And some kids were gone when we made our second one. So we'll collect these so that other kids can use them. Anything like this is garbage. Nobody can reuse this for anything. So these will go in the garbage. These, if you're done, you can bring them uh, to me and other kids can use them. This can go on the drying rack and then you can start putting the rest of your supplies away.